Well, I sent three horses up to the vet today, uh, three babies, and I want to know, are, are there any stop signs we're going through? Are there any things we should be focusing on? Is there anything we should do? Um, not a whole lot found with two of them, but Lady All-Star did have some issues. Not surprisingly. This is a filly that we know is very fast, a filly that had to work very hard to get her gated, had to work very hard to keep her flat. If you've been to the training center, um, you know how much work I have to put into Lady All-Star to get her proper before. And I'm not so much worried about the work, but I'm worried about why. Why so much work and um, what's underneath? What, what, what does she need help getting through? And I mean, when you're training them down, it's hard to tell. Um, the other day I trained her. The only thing I thought the other day when I trained her, she cantered a little bit more than usual going her slow mile, which is telling. But when she get into the fast mile, she made a break because she got doubled up, but then went a big, big last half. And as I said to the vet today, um, you guys know how I've talked about this filly the last little while. Definitely intelligence wise, I, I think understanding her job and seeing how much she's progressed, I would say there has been no one. None of her babies has come as far as her intelligence wise. None. Top of the class. Absolutely top of the class. So I am super pumped about that. But is there something festering? And you guys, you have to understand uh, what I'm about to tell you is she had two lines. One in her knee and one in her hind sesamoid. Both of them three to four weeks in the stall and in the pool. Same as we do for all the horses. These aren't major, but they could have been major. And I'm going to tell you my take on why that's important. My take on why working the horses hard now at smaller speeds where you might find a line is important. My take on that is simple. For the people out there that baby them and baby them and baby them and baby them, that doesn't mean that those lines aren't there. It doesn't mean that they're not prevalent. It doesn't mean that they're not going to show up. But at higher speeds with more torque, that little line that I might have seen today could be a slab fracture in a mile and 58, could be a broken sesamoid that needs a screw at 57, 59. What I saw today with the veterinarian, or what I was told the veterinarian saw today, was something that needs four weeks in the stall, a line. She wasn't lame on it. This affiliate that trained decent the other day, jogged sound yesterday. And what I saw is something she just three, four weeks in the stall, let it seal up, put her in the pool for a month. We had this filly paid into a lot of things at the end of the year, considering how smart she is. And her work ethic is unmatched in our barn. We've worked horses hard, but none that are more eager to do more and more and more and heavier lifting. There might be some that are in the same category, but I still, I think this filly's come so far. As I said to the vet, she goes, well, you know, that hind sesamoid, a little weak looking. Her knees are suspect. Has she done much? <laughs> Has she done much more than the other horses? She's worked harder and likes her work. In fact, trained great this week. She goes, well, that says it all. You know, horses that want to get there will get there. And as far as these lines, she walked in the, in the clinic sound and she walked out of the clinic sound. But they're there. And if we had a not checked, she would not have walked into any clinic sound in a few weeks. And would not have walked out of any clinic sound. So by putting the proper work into the horses, but paying attention when something doesn't look right, more times than not, it's not. I have no problems with the issues with Lady All-Star, none. Like the filly very much, but she is going to need three or four weeks off and then go to the pool. We did this last year with a number of horses. This isn't the first time. We rested Three Point Blue Chip last year also for various reasons. Never his feet, but various reasons. So uh, that's a scoop on uh, Lady All-Star. Uh, we also had Una Madonna up. Nothing found there. She said, really nothing. If you're going to make me be picky, maybe her pasterns are a little rough, look <clears throat> rough looking behind. She said, but it's nothing. Nothing there. And then as far as uh, Coupe de Ville, right foot had a bruise in it. And she was a little tender on her right foot. She does hang on that line. So rather than tinker and tinker and tinker, we simply shocked her foot. Seemed like a... Um, rather invasive, inv non-invasive. I just made another word up. Did you see that? Innovative. Doesn't even sound right. Non-invasive 
procedure just to shockwave that foot, take the soreness out of it. Then I've, I've talked to the caretaker also. We're going to work on her feet a little bit more and maybe even correct her shoeing a little bit. I don't want to tinker with this filly shoeing too much. We'll probably just add a, a pin bar, as I call it, a bar through the middle of the shoe, see if that can take some of the pressure off. We'll likely do that in the next shoeing or so. The shocking should help start packing, sweating, painting her feet a little bit more and keeping a closer eye on them. So Coupe de Ville, clean uh, slate from her. Um, Una Madonna, green lights all on the dashboards for her. And Coupe de Ville, a couple little yellow lights. And I have to leave her in the stall for three or four weeks and head her to the pool. Long year ahead of this filly. And as I said, her uh, work ethic is unparalleled. Very, very strong filly and loves to work. Let's just make sure her wheels are on straight or she could hurt herself. So I would say, although today's news wasn't fantastic, definitely averted what could have been problematic down the road. So um, I guess I can spin it as good news all around. Obviously, it means that Lady All-Star is going to have to back off a little bit. Three, As I said, three, four weeks on stall and then off to the pool. The other two fillies full speed ahead. So that's your report on the babies today for Una Madonna, Coupe de Ville, and our girl, Lady All-Star. Take care.